Hi, I'm Teresa at Track Creation for E, where we explore, experiment, and execute effectively. Have you been asked by your leader or a client to revamp their Outlook mailbox? And wouldn't it be nice if you had a list of all the folders and subfolders so you know what you're working with? Well, that's what I'm going to show you today. I have come across a Microsoft Visual Basic for application script, a VBA script, a fancy name for running a macro that was going to really help you download all those lists of folders right into a new email message and then you can work with it. Don't get intimidated because you're running a macro. It's real easy to do. Let me show you how. Okay, so I have navigated to Outlook for Windows and the first thing we want to do is press alternate F11 to open up the VBA um, editor. So alternate F11 and then from the top ribbon, click on insert module. And once this window open, I have already copied the script um, and all we're going to do is press Control V to um, paste it. Now, only thing that I want you to know, just make sure that when you visit my website, I will have the, all this code here. Make sure when you paste it in here, you have it from the beginning to the very end. If you even miss one line of code, it will prevent it from running it. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to actually start to run your script. Now, there's three ways you can do it. You can actually just click on the run from the ribbon and select run sub and user form. Notice that it's telling you that you can use the shortcut F5. That's the second method. And the third one is if you would just click on this play button, again, it will run the script as well. So click on it. The dialog box come up. Now, I only have one macro here. Most of the time, that's what all you should see. But if not, make sure you click on get folder names and then hit run. So once that happened is you're going to see all these multiple um, mailboxes that I have on my screen. Just so you know, I'm blurring out um, the names just for privacy purposes. But notice the E by each one of these. These are the primary mailbox for a particular user. Once you click on that, click on one and press OK, you will get an email with all the subfolders. So again, I'm gonna blur out um, the names of on here for privacy purposes, but I have a list of all of my folders and subfolders in a matter of clicks. So wasn't it very easy? If you find this video helpful, please give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I like to hear your comments on if you use this script and what did you think of it. Thank you and have a good day.